Then remember, each team has three balls to uh, knock on, down on, those 15 cans, and they have to go completely off the shelf. So Johnny Wilkin works to open for Ant's team. Look at that, yeah. five yeah. cans yeah. left, that's ten away. Great start for Ants. Good luck, mate. Here comes Bobby Dabro for Dex team. Already under pressure. Oh, what a complete miss. Advantage Ant. Next man up, Brian Conley. Only five cans to remove. A split, four and one, he's got to go for the four. So a chance for Anthony Costa to bring Dex team back into the competition. And that's a pretty good one, but look at that. That is seven left. Come on, Ant. So it's five Come versus seven. Come on, Ant. Oh. So now it's down to Dex. Dex needs to get rid of three cans to win this. Absolutely on the edge. Real pressure. Two counts won't do. Three will. And he's taken two off. And that is five apiece. So that is going to mean an extra ball, I think, per team. Sudden death, I think. So, team captains go again. Ant first. Oh, Deck. All he needs is one single can. And he's done it! The tech has come from behind to take the team challenge at versus Deck. And for a fifth time, Deck is triumphant. Such hard luck on Ant. Commiseration to Team Ant. It was that close. A couple of cans, that's what it came down to. Yeah. Kirsty. Congratulations, Team Deck. What, what a decider, I just can't believe it. You get the cup, uh, and well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. For, for well done to both teams. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Well done. In a moment, we will have the uh, presentation of the cup. Where, where we go? There, there. Where do you want to? Yeah, take me here. <laughs> uh, we'll have the cup presentation. But before that, there is just uh, a bit of time to take back a look back at some of the. Almost, I've made a mess of this. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Let's just have a look, look back at our favourite moments of this series. Have a look at this. For all the titles. Chapter 19, we're the only show on telly that says, "Don't just watch the advert." <laughs> What do you think you should do, everybody? Oh, um... You've got to gamble on a Saturday night! It's the right answer! Yes. Three and a two and a one. Austin has put you up for a five grand run in our mousetrap. I give you Team Ant and Team Deck. So Touchdown! This is a real gutsy challenge. <laughs> This week's challenge saw our team get up close and personal with a whole load of hairy asses. Let's restore some uh, decorum to the proceedings. <laughs> Sat amongst you in the audience is the famous Lisa Middleton. <laughs> yes, you. To talk us through the official proceedings, I'll hand you over to our commentator, David Goldstrom. So, it's commiserations to Team Ant, who were picked at the post after losing tonight's musical medley. The runners-up medals to be presented there by adventure actor and very good friend, Mr Brian Blessed. Liberal Democrat, MP, Olympic, OPIC. A rap for presenter Yvonne Fielding after she missed out on the soap challenge. Next up, the pop princess, Liz McClana, who shone as Sandy earlier tonight. Entertainer, Brian Conley, who's kept both his teammates and all of us entertained over the past six weeks. 
singer and entertainer Johnny Wilkes, who has Rizzo tonight, shows that he's up for anything. And uh, finally, Chris uh, Forward, having driven his five lucky teammates with incredible passion, is left to wonder as to what might have been. But it's Jack once again, who is triumphant, highly competitive, ever the motivator. But at this moment, very proud of his team. Here's uh, singer Sinita. He was eliminated after the chuck ball. Edwina Curry, after losing out in the Donkey Derby, it was Nikki Clark. That's it for the series. Thanks to everybody who's been on the show. Lily, Jason, Ruthie, our teams, Kirsty and the Elves, and Zach Efron. Thanks, Zach. Thanks, Zach. Join us again soon for the only show on says, Don't just watch the adverts. Thanks for watching. Bye. What a great show. Now, Hugh Grant and Julia Roberts are just one of the many stars in our movie next here on ITV1. Romantic comedy, Notting Hill, coming up. And over on ITV2, if you missed his debut, then catch it again next there 